Welcome, friends! Your favorite degenerates, Krista and Jason, are at it again! Let's celebrate the day! Good, Good morning. morning from NASA, almost. We're in the Bahamas. Pretty out. Nice Beautiful. sunrise. Look at that. There are other ships uh, this morning in the Bahamas. We are, would you like to go over there with a little less windy? Okay. A little, a little less crazy okay. hair? Supposed to be four other ships other than us in this port when we are in. This is and, a cool chair, honey. Yes. And uh, 20,600 people in this town today from cruise ships. Right? 20,600 people. That's incredible. All that brought their pocket money. Yeah. So our, uh, it is Friday the 11th of January 2019. About day two. Day two, about 7.15 a.m. Our uh, NASA, NASA day. day. And the uh, the critique is, and I can't disagree with it, that NASA is not a fantastic place to port. Because it's basically you do Atlantis or you do nothing. Yep. And we're going to change that. We're, uh, yeah, well, it, uh, the, the headline for the video, for our description, is either going to be NASA sucks or NASA doesn't suck. But we're going to try and not make it suck and not go to Atlantis. So by not going to Atlantis, we save a chunk of change because Atlantis is off the chart, chart wise. Yeah, it's a little expensive for us, um, especially since we've got four people. Um, it's just it, it's cost prohibitive, and you know the cruise is very affordable to get on the ship and come and do and see. Um, however, when you add in you know the excursion price, it it's all it could be almost the same as the price of the cruise. Atlantis could be up to like a hundred. I mean, this cruise sold for, I saw it at 209 like the granted, that's the excursion, or uh, port fees, taxes, and yeah, cheers, like and you know, all the other the stuff. Cheers, but, and, yeah. but it would be hard to part with 200 bucks a person to go to Atlantis when the cruise was, was priced, priced at 209 sure. Yeah. Right? So, we're going to we're gonna get off the ship, we're going to try out the, the local stuff, obviously we're going to get the, the high points of the freebie stuff, like uh, Queen Staircase. We do, I do want to go to Diamonds International. Yeah, we'll check it out. So anyway, that's our plan. We're gonna go get some breakfast. Uh, we'll get hooked up with Gay, Hayden, and Gabby here. And, they are uh, awake. I'm happy. And uh, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day that is not at work, and we are at sea. Right. We are coming in, I believe. Coming into Nassau. Yeah, we're passing an island. <laughs> yeah, really close though. <laughs> check out the water. Blue. Ship. Big boat. Oh, big boat. Big boat. Big boat. Wow. Oh, look out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Big boat. <laughs> There's a statue here, <laughs> Queen Victoria, uh, yeah, and it's underneath all the um, bleachers right now because there's apparently some other thing going on, but we wanted to see it, so there you go. We saw it. Yeah, they still got a lot of Christmas stuff up. Yeah. Right, the 
It's kind of like an Easter egg hunt, huh? So here is Sir Milo Boughton Butler, and he was the was a shopkeeper, and he became the first governor after the British after they declared their independence from the British. Wow! So I went from shopkeeper to the first governor. Better. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guava Duff? Anybody? That's cool. It is cool. It's too bad that the stadium shit's all in the way of it yeah, because this is a really is pretty a area. Really pretty courtyard. Right. You can see both statues really easily. Okay. down Bay Street and you'll find this place that we're about to go try a bohemian treat called Guava Duff and you'll find the green parrot after about 15 minutes yeah, 10-15 10, 10, minutes. minutes of walking this was a friend of mine Ron found uh, some travel blogger and she stopped at a few places in the Bahamas and uh, said that the Guava Duff is a must try. So here we are at the Green Parrot. So let's go in, let's order one. Hello. How you doing? We came to try Guava Duff. <laughs> no problem. You want the inside or the outside? It is beautiful out here. Are you guys need some cool? Are you all right? Okay. All right. Outside. Outside's fine, please. Open. Are you get, just getting the guava duff? Yes. Okay, let me see if the the chef is ready. Because Thank you. Because the kitchen doesn't open until 11. Really? Okay. So I you guess we, we should have planned a little better, but, you know, we just <laughs> got up. Can you make ready? I'll sign up. We'll be right here. Boop. Okay. Maybe we jumped the gun on guava duff a little bit. Come back with good news, come back with good news, come back with good news. If this was anybody else, I'd say the luck was in your favor, but knowing me, she's gonna come back and say no. Cute little place though, right? Is he deconking? Yeah. Those are queen conks. Come out of there. You gotta come out of there. Okay, how many walking up? Um, how big is it? I just wanted four people to try it, so. Okay. Two orders be enough? Yeah, that would be perfect. All right. And you're gonna hook us up? Yeah, yeah, oh, I, I you, told them. You're totally my I new told best them friend. Already. I'll send it through for you. Natalie, right? Yes, sir. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> no problem, anything you want? <laughs> you guys want a Diet Coke or? Diet Coke? Okay, no problem. Two Diet Cokes. Two Diet Cokes. Um, water? Water and two waters. What do you want? Water? Water. Okay. Okay, you can choose the seat. I'll be right with you. Thank you, Natalie. Ooh. Conkify. Step. Step. All right. This is kind of a little gem right here. Look at this. It's a pool. A bar. Sure. Those are out here on the marina. Holy shit. All right. This is cute. Tiki's. Expensive boats to look at. 
Would you like to sit, love? Yeah. All right. Just take some Let's go do. I'm gonna sit. Have us uh, our seat down here. Is that all right? Yeah. Where'd Hayden and Gabby go? Oh, there they are. All right. All right. I'll be back uh, when the guava duff is ready. Yes. All right. Krista's all gonna try it. Now the green parrot spikes their guava duff with rum. And then I yeah. spoon. I you can you can actually taste the Bacardi in it. So I take like that. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, it's real oh. comfortable. All right, Gabby's going in. You know what you need to try too? You need to try the pea soup and dumpling, the Bohemian pea soup and dumpling. Yeah. It's yeah, awesome. Soup and dumpling. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Your first quarter. This is up. wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. And Hayden's gonna go in. Looks weird. Let's try it. Here, baby. Hang on. Oh, I got the duff on you. What's your deal? Wasting duff. Or the, no, I got the guava on him. Oh. Definitely doughy. Mm-hmm. Yep, so Very it's alcoholic. traditional bohemian dessert, guava fruit folded into dough, then boiled and served with guava sauce, and here they spike it with rum, obviously. I definitely taste the Bacardi, mm -hmm. but it's not like a strong Bacardi, it's definitely like an aftertaste. Oh my. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it seems so simple. It, it does. It, it tastes like French bread, like you would just cut up those the big loaf of French bread. Right? Some napkins, just in case things get out of hand. <laughs> they already did. They already did. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll enjoy our guava duff. I'm sure you don't want to see us chewing because that's kind of gross on camera. Although we have to do it sometimes. Taking one for the team over here. You can guava duff with the blue parrot or the green parrot. Green parrot. Blue Natalie parrot. is fantastic over here. I mean, you see, she just walked us back here. They're not even open. She's like, yeah, we'll make it work. You know, I love that hospitality. All right, we'll catch up on the next stop or the next go. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we, we did the guava dove. I thought it was absolutely delicious. Well worth the stop for sure. You saw everybody eat it. Yeah, Good? It's, it's gone. It's yeah, gone. it was delicious. Yep. Gabby? Yes? Was good. Thumbs up? Hayden? It was good. A right. smaller portion, I would say. Yeah, so yeah. We, may, we probably shouldn't have ordered two. We probably should have ordered one just so we could try it and keep on moving because we got a couple other things that we'd like to put in our mouths today. <laughs> it's sweet and tart. It's just... It's a really cool texture. Uh, it's a little doughy, a little crispy, a little sweet, a little boozy, a little buttery, and then that guava, you know, that... that, that Fruity. That, yeah. That funk of guava that's really cool. Yeah, it was good. So, we're gonna... I think we're gonna we're gonna tour, go toward... Uh, Queen Staircase, Queen Staircase and, and Fort Finnery. Yeah, something like that. So, and then we're gonna walk down the pier a little bit. So, we're on our way. See ya. All right, so we're going to sneak out the back of the green parrot and walk down the pier a little bit. You can see our house from here. There it is down there. The whale tail. Really cool se uh, setting for uh, to enjoy some guava duff and um, some other local bohemian treats. So we'll carry on. But cool, cool place. You can see Atlantis over there in the distance. If you were in the mood to spend a couple hundred bucks. See Krista over here doing zoomy things with her new camera. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was playing. She loves her new camera. Yeah. Hopefully we can get some good photos out of that and we'll uh, put those up somewhere in this. Okay. Now ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention. Hello you guys, if you speak English. Yep. All right, but listen, I'm handicapped, so I can't get up and I can't walk with you. If you're coming into the staircase without a guy, as a courtesy, we give you a brief history on it. It's not a flight of steps made for the queen. It was a punishment quarry for slaves. Unfortunately, you're going to be walking on over through the graves of more than 5,400 men, women, and children that died here. What we do not want is for you to come and leave with the misconception our most historic site is a flight of steps. The canyon is called the Queen's Staircase. It took 600 slaves 16 years of hard labor to excavate. They survived. There were about 6,000, 5,400 and not. They were literally worth the day. In 1837, the British sent a man by the name of John Murray, the governor of the Bahamas. He had been the governor of Virginia during the American War of Independence. He used to work 18 hours a day in our climate. We don't have winter, spring, summer, and fall. It's early summer, late summer, this summer, next summer. Hell, I came in two years ago for suntan. I used to be white. What the? <laughs> <laughs> 
1837, Victoria became the Queen of England. 1838, she abolished slavery. All freed slaves here were given a parcel of land. The land solidified the islands as home. You're welcome to stop and listen. The islands had no indigenous people, so freed slaves here of African descent became the people of the Bahamas, the Bahamians. We are their descendants. But the goodness the Queen had done when she died, January 22nd, 1901, our ancestors wanted to honor and deserve her memory. They came back to the canyon, took the chisel and hammer, remembering those who died carving the canyon from top to bottom. There's free men carved the staircase from bottom to top. So symbolically, it would serve as a reminder that our ancestors came from the depths of slavery, step by step up to freedom. Each step commemorating each year she reigned as queen. In our honor, we call it the Queen's staircase. El Forte en Monte. Okay. You got it. That was cool, huh? You're just walking around and next thing you know, there's a dude that's making the best of his situation. Alright, I gotta change battery when we get down here. This, this is pretty cool. Didn't, didn't see this on the last trip to uh, the Bahamas. And there's the nails. So these scratches, like here, are made by slaves hundreds of years ago. And there's low ones that he said were made by children. Obviously you heard his presentation if I didn't edit a whole bunch of it out. It was pretty lengthy. And then if you turn around... You guys already tipped him? Yes ma'am. Okay, because I was going to hit him up on the way out. Here is... Check that out. Did this you get... is a banyan tree. And it's 70 feet in the air, according to him. I don't think that's 70 feet. I don't know. Well, Mom. Wow. Mom. That's a foot. <laughs> so. It's a little bit more like 40 or 50. Visually stunning. Yeah. Beautiful. And sitting here looking at the bottom of a tree is kind of cool. I'm glad we stopped. Okay, the view is as stunning back towards the main, where we walked in as it is amazing. Going forward. Okay. Stance. I think it's something like 67, 66. I read it, but forgot because I'm old. Cool.
Fort Fincastle. In we go. This wouldn't be a place I would spend much time. By choice. This is as good as it gets, guys. I'm a little scared. It's mm -hmm. kind of scary. You got poopy pants, man. I get my flashlight unavailable. Oh, you're in camera mode. That's why. Bling. Bling. Oh. Ooh. All What's right. That? To learn. Nope, you ain't that happening. Nope, nope, not happening today. <laughs> no push up Twenty thousand six hundred of us packed into Nassau. You said those were not the original cannons. No, that would be a little hard to believe, right? Cool view. I think the original cannons would actually be bigger. Imagine the power to hurl a flaming ball all the way to the water, wherever the water was then. I think the original cannons were about eight feet big. Fences don't mean shit, apparently. No, you're that's there's a reason there's a fucking fence there. is trying to commit suicide? I mean, seriously, what the fuck are you doing over there? Crazy. No respect. Just fucking use it up. Rules don't apply to you if you don't want them to. Nah. It's cool. Yeah, whatever. Fuck them. I'm not. Our day goes on. You want to climb up? Are you ready to go down, love? Yeah. Let's get So the next stop is the public library. Thank you. What's... Hi. No? Where's the, the books? And... The library? Oh. 
I'm sorry? There's a siren. <laughs> It's a bust. I mean, short of seeing the outside. They're under renovation. So. No, uh, supposedly there are bookshelves that were built in jail cells here. So. <laughs> anyway. Um, it is cool to look at, at least. Right, we've decided to go back to the ship for a few minutes. 20,400 people, or 600 people in this port right now. We're going to run back to the ship for a minute. Go to the bathroom, chill for a second, and then we'll go back out. Oh, sorry, sir. Man, there are a ton of people here. Yeah, easy peasy. I mean, just walk down the street, through the uh, little uh, terminal area, right through security on the ship, grab a pee, grab a sit, take it easy for a few minutes, we'll get back off, and we'll get back after whatever it is we're going to get into next. No plans, right? It's vacation. See ya! We made it to Junkanoo. And it is a freaking nightmare getting here on the sidewalk because there is 20,600 people walking around in this shit. Everybody wants to go to Junkanoo. So, and Junkanoo is packed. I mean, look at it. It's a cool spot though, right? There's our, these, I mean, it's not very far walk, but just trying to get here. It's like the, you know, you're being checked in the shoulder and there's traffic and kind of, it's kind of a nightmare but here we are and it is a, it is pretty it's cool there's Hayden it's cold oh yeah a little chilly cold if you're a northerner it's right if you're a southerner You're obviously from the south. <laughs> obviously from the south. Definitely. That's Floridian right there. But I did. It's like, oh, whoa. I did show me that. That would look like a pretty quick note. Chili for you. Crystal clear.
crystal clear. I wish it was warmer. Right? Yeah, I'm sure in the summertime it's phenomenal. to go to Senor Frogs, it was 25 minute wait, and we said, uh, blow me. Yeah. And uh, we were gonna get some appetizers, and we went to a restaurant, sat down, waited 10 minutes, and said, eh. So we're gonna. I'm hungry. I'm starting to get hangry. And Guy's Burger Joint sounds really good right now. We landed some local, and a uh, drink, and a quick game of. I'm runner. Krista is on her third brain freeze. Yes. Um, it is busy. Uh, 20,000 people, and I would love to be able to come back here with one shit, just our shit. Um, I think we could really experience the NASA, but I also think we've proven you know, we've been at NASA all day, and I haven't been bored. That's how many been, right. I've been it interested. Is. 252. It's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. It's been, it's been fun today. Show me your phone. Show me your stats. Uh, we, uh, we, we've seen quite a bit. We've done quite a bit. Uh, the thing is, everything's really scattered out. So, you, you, you got, it's a track. 17,734 steps so far. Should probably be over 25,000 by day 10. Yeah. And I'm, I'm at like 17,000 flat because I have longer stride than Krista, so she's like a little four cylinder trying to do 120 miles an hour where I'm like an eight cylinder and I only have to do like 3,000 RPM. She's, she's got to run it a little harder. I, I can have some carbs today. How you like? Pretty good. Next street goes up. Next street goes up. Next street goes up. Watch the eye. It's coming. Oh, come on. Give us a little. I'm waiting. I'm sorry. Take a bigger gulp. I, I'm, you're not getting me with a brain freeze on camera. Here, hey, drink a bunch of this at a time. I want to see this. I'm good. Gabby, take one for the tin. No. Nope. My daughter in waiting in law thingy. Yeah. Nope.
at it. It looks like somebody dipped it in fucking nitrogen. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God, it hurts. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm like, if I don't close my mouth, I'm gonna like drool all over the place. It's here, love. Does it get you in? It got me no. right here. Does it get the, 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 the nun in your tank? <laughs> Appreciate it. It comes on, trust me. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, there it goes. Just blinked into a new. <laughs> like, oh, oh, I could, I could see sound. <laughs> Yeah. He had to check my conch shells because they can't, the camera can't see and fit the shells. We to make sure they were actually just conch shells and nothing hiding in it. Okay, so it's just a drop off and a come back out. Drop off pee and leg first. Drop off your pee? Yeah, and the sand. You smell that? <coughs> the devil's lechuga. That doesn't see what it smells like to me, too. Lechuga de Diablo. Hi! Guess that guy really did have what you needed. <laughs> he really did. He really Followed did. me all the way from Cosimo last <laughs> October. He's like, I told you I had what you needed. <laughs> See you in a minute. All right, I just want to show you guys something completely ridiculous. Look at the size of this ship. Sailboat. Sail ship? Yeah. What, what, I mean, Hell yeah. the, the, the mast is taller than <laughs> our whale tail. It's, this thing is ridiculous. I don't even know what if look that's. Look at the people down there. They look freaking minuscule compared you to. You think this is just like a one rich guy, or is that like a thing that people? This has got to be like. He... It doesn't have a name on it. I don't see anything at least. I don't see any names. It might be on the back because it's so boat that's where you put it. But. Yeah. Okay, so where we went was I don't know if I can see it, but we went way down there to uh, uh, the Green Parrot. Then we went over there where that uh, tower is. That's where the Queen Staircase and the Finn Castle. And then we walked uh, somewhere over there-ish. <laughs> and then we went down to the beach down there. That pier over there. We went over to Senor Frogs. Over to here. Back to the ship. Yeah, yeah good day. Pretty good time. Ice cream and a beer. So that's a cruise thing. Ice cream and beer, right? Everybody's chilling. Okay. All right, so this side we have what holds 20,600 people. A celebrity, a MSC, and over on the very, very far side is Norwegian ship. There's still another ship on the side of that. Yeah, there's another ship, uh, Royal Caribbean, uh, in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But that, I mean, that's like a total no, this mix. Is celebrity here. Yeah, and we parked next to the Equinox. Norwegian. That was a Symphony of the Seas, I think, but then there's a Royal, Royal Caribbean somewhere. There's five ships. And I'm not gonna lie, it's it's made it was busy. It was a dumb. damn good day. Better than any day at work. Pretty though. The fort was kinda cool. Yeah, the fort was cool. Yeah, it's always fun when you can mix a little of the local history flavor, you know. And then, uh, you know, a little, like little commercial. The, uh, the little tour dude. Or the, uh... yeah. yeah, you get the backstory on it, you know. yourself at sea then there's really no future for you. Go with what works. 
I hate to let out the dancing skills that I have. Recording? <laughs> yes, honey, it's recording. Ah, what the fuck, right? They, the kids got it all set up. And... Oh, yeah, they're like, all of a sudden, they're fucking Steven Spielberg. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> So we're at the karaoke bar, had dinner, delicious. I love this song. So maybe. Because maybe. You're you gonna, gonna be the one, one that saves me. me. Yeah, I do. Oh, you're my wonder. So she will be 23,000 by the time we get to the room, get to the room tonight. Come in. Uh, here you go. 23,749. Yes, sir. 
Thank you. Well, there's number 15. Uh, NASA doesn't have to suck. It doesn't have to. Yeah. But you gotta, you gotta do your own. Definitely um, watch who you step though. There was definitely a lot of areas where if you're not walking, you're not yeah, yeah, you, you, you would not want to walk. You'll twist your ankle or break it. No. Or horse I thought uh, horse poop. Uh, it wasn't a big deal. The lot of the carriages caught it, but the metal brick that was something that was kind of catchy. And all yeah. the potholes. Be cognizant of where you're at. And if you're wearing flip flops, watch out for the glass. It was like glass everywhere. I thought you were gonna get beat up eventually. So be prepared to do squawking unless you hire a uh, chirpa. Right. Your favorite thing we did today? I really like the Queen's Star Games. Queen's Star Games? And historically, very, very cool, right? My tree roots are pretty cool. The tree roots are pretty cool, seeing them all up there. Queen's staircase for you as well? Mine was definitely the floor, and I'm like kind of, I like the war stuff, but seeing that they have the actual concrete, the actual concrete has the shells in it. Cool. That means that they did it on a rock. Clean staircase. Yeah. What about you? Guava Duff. It had rum in it. Amazing. But it was cool just to, to like hunt up a local treasure. So I'm we still had two and a half hours before we actually still had to be on the ship. Did you get back once? Absolutely. Just to change. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's the point where, where you could say NASA sucks. We did an excursion in uh, Belize and we were back in the world class and all. And we were back on the ship within like 15, 30 minutes to spare. Where in NASA, it's up to you when you're going to put a Unless you go to fucking Atlantis. Atlantis unless you're going to Atlantis, there's not much to do here. Right. They're paying for trips. I think we did really well. The money trying to tell people now. Don't point at anything. They will look at you and go, oh, you like it? Come here. Yeah, you don't mind it. Yeah, but... And we had a lady, we had a lady who caught, oh, yeah. tie like a bracelet onto my wrist. Yeah. And she's like, it's for the children. Yeah. Children, yeah. Children, yeah. children yeah. made it. Everyone's a pretty lady. Everyone's a pretty lady. Even the guys are pretty lady. And by the time she had it tied on, we were down to a for-profit business instead of it starting out at an orphanage. And she's chasing us for a tip. Because <laughs> I was like, if I was, a, I was a dickhead. I was in Mexico City earlier this week, so I had 10 pesos left over, 20 pesos. So I gave her the fucking pesos, which basically adds up to about a buck fifty. So I hand her the pesos. She chases me down. She's like, hey, what the fuck is with the pesos? <laughs> You're like, what? Says, that's all I got. She's like, I don't fucking want them. So throws it back at him. She's she like, fuck your face up. And I was like, oh, hell no. And he was trying to get his wallet. And she goes, I gave you three. Because I'm like, you gave me three. I didn't get one. She took the cash and fucking ran. Yeah, and here's five. And she got one. So, I guess another pro tip is to carry fucking pesos. Because she'll get everything for free. Yeah. Wow. This is really strong, but absolutely delicious. Delicious, right? Thing. If you look at our Carnival Miracle vlog, day one, where I was doing great, and then all of a sudden was all shit faced, this is the drink that put me over the top. The Cucumber Sunrise. <laughs> it's phenomenal, but it is big time alcohol. They don't have any till 4, so I think I'll get one at 4 o'clock tomorrow. I can probably nurse the shit out of that for like 3 hours. Uh, hunt up with that. Whatever it is you like to do, like like Google it. We didn't invent anything. We we didn't invent a stop today. This is all stuff that I found out about either LeBron or you Google. We didn't we didn't find a hidden gem that wasn't already known. The way that the history that we got, there was this guy, and he was awesome. And he gave us a lot of history about the Queen's Bear case. Remember that really process? And it actually meant more when you were looking at it and seeing the magnitude of it. So, do your research on some of these historical things. The amount of history in the Caribbean is amazing. And you can find hidden gems like a king's staircase, like a park. 
Getting up, getting going to NASA, and not knowing about the twins that are you don't have to be a retarded. Yeah, we were retarded. We didn't days. know. We, we, we didn't absolutely know. didn't know Queen Staircase existed, no. and today we saw it for the first time. Like, whoa! We got off the boat um, in 2014 and we walked up to Bay Street. We walked around Bay Street. We found Senior Park. We met that. We came back to the ship. I think we were off the boat a total of an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Yeah, but every time I log in, any one of these Facebook groups, and it's, uh, there's always once a week, there's a post that says, what do I do in NASA? And somebody always says, stay on the boat. A hundred somebody say that. They say, screw getting off. Don't even bother. It's not even worth your trouble. Stay on with your drink package and your free food and all that. And you'll be better off than getting off. I can say, get off and do your thing. Research it first. Get like a little bit. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy like yourself. Yeah, but do your out. research before you get off. Uh, and then get off and do what you want. It may be, it may be the, the distillery. It may be the Queen Staircase. It may be a dessert. It may be a beach. It might be a barbecue joint. It might be conch fritters. It might be conch salad. It might be whatever it is. And you may be back on the ship in plenty of time. Lord knows we were back. We didn't take a taxi, we didn't do anything. We walked it up. We were good exercise. Why do I am so sore? We can come back here and explore the rest of our list. Yeah. I definitely like the walking. We see a lot of things, but on our way to the uh, Green Parrot, it was like completely off the beaten right. path. Nobody goes down there, so you see all the actual true NASA. That was it. Going, going left, or excuse me, left out of the yeah, right. cruise terminal was completely different than going right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? If you go right, you're, you're going to be right in touristy, yeah. whatever. They keep so, it up. They go left, and now all of a sudden you're like in areas where there's no traffic, there's no nothing. No. No. And, and stay watching the street because uh, they are backwards to the United States, and yes. when you think you're crossing, you think you're safe, you might get hit by a car. Good tip, good tip. So, when you cross the street, you will, you will be run over looking the direction you're using. I, I really don't feel, I need to go lay down. Yeah. So. I'm sorry. Let's cross this, let's yeah. put a cap on it. Good night, NASA. NASA, yes, no. NASA, yes. 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 Four votes, yes. NASA. Cheap cruise, 209 bucks. I think we saw it yeah, out of Port, Port Canaveral on, on Carnival Liberty. Yeah. Down to Nassau, three day air. You don't have to stay on the ship and eat a guy's burger and hope for the best in the pool. You can get off the ship. You can enjoy yourself. You're not even getting off to go swim or even freaking do any of that. You can go down to the beach and yeah. just yeah. sit there. But you don't have to stay on the ship. I'm not saying you gotta get the, get off the ship and get back on it exactly your your uh, your 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 time to get back on. Ours was five thirty. Back on the ship by, by 3.30, we were in the burger by 4 o'clock, all was well, yeah. but we didn't see everything either. All the list that I had put together would have walked us to death. And tomorrow's a CD, so we have plenty of activity. We just, we just cut it short. We decided to get back on the ship and call it good because we don't mind coming back. So, NASA, yes. NASA, that's a yes for me, dog. Good night. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Tell them tomorrow. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Much love to our friends. Be the good in the world. Spread the love and go on an adventure. Please like, comment, and subscribe.